Remember, it's a war zone out there. All right, hello everybody. Welcome uh, to another Fallout Weapon Review. Today we have the uh, quadruple ammo capacity, critical damage, action point cost Tesla rifle. Now the Tesla rifle is a pretty good commando build stealth gun. It's not great for stealth because it doesn't have a suppressor, but it's still pretty good. Um, you'll see a lot of people run this instead. You know, you get a nice bloodied uh, explosive uh, Elder's Mark. Just because of the action point cost is so crazy. Like, you could just shoot this thing forever. You drink six cups of coffee and you can shoot it forever. It's definitely better. Same with, like, the Fixer or an explosive handmade. You'll see that or the Railway. So you don't see the Tesla rifle too often for commando builds. A lot of people will run this just to tag enemies and, you know, like, get the experience for shooting somebody in an event. They won't really use it seriously like I'm going to in this video. But, yeah, let's just go ahead show you the build so this is my commando build it's probably not the best um, but this is what I, I run strong back traveling pharmacy bandolier just to be able to carry more stuff then of course all the commando perks with concentrated fire and tank killer because you know armor penetration and all that good stuff it helps radical just because strength is good and I'm running bloodied strange in number squad of maneuvers and tenderizer um, I like to move fast I like to have good mutation effects and I like to do more damage um, intelligence. This is kind of where you're going to get a lot of the damage from the Tesla rifle. You got Nerd Rage because I'm running bloodied. Batteries included. Um, and all of the science perks. Because the science perks will actually buff the damage of the Tesla rifle just, just a little bit for each card, which is important. Then we got Action Boy, Covert, Sneak, Escape Artist, Gun of Foo, and Adrenaline. All of these are just for damage and being able to sneak and being able to, you know, vats and have to switch targets and all that. And having more AP as well. Then we got Bloody Mess, Serendipity, Class Freak, Starch Jeans, and Critical Savvy. Critical Savvy just because this thing also likes to build up its crit meter pretty fast like the Alien Blaster. And speaking of the Alien Blaster, that video did pretty good. I'm pretty happy that some people watched it. Um, thank you for watching and commenting and saying all the nice stuff in the comments. You guys are really cool. Um, so yeah, let's just uh, get all that bullshit out of the way and let's show you how it does. Let's go. I wasn't reloaded. And as you can see, the action point cost is really high, but when I critted that guy right there, I did 809 damage. That's pretty crazy. Alright, and that's the outside of West that cleared out pretty goddamn fast. I keep reloading because I'm dumb and I'm so used because I, I, I didn't have this before. I had like one that was, I think, bloodied and then action point cost or I think it was vampires. Um, but really, you need to have quadruple on this thing. If you want this thing to be good, you have to have quadruple. It's extremely important that you have it because the magazine capacity, I think, is like 20 and you will chew through that super fast. You will be reloading constantly. The reload is a pretty annoying, and having 60, it's so much better. So yeah, let's just keep going, and uh, yeah. Fucking piece of shit, dog. I hate you. I hate you. I hate you. Okay, that's enough. So now I'm going to run it outside of VATS, even though this is a primarily VATS build. But we'll just run it outside of VATS just to show you. It's still pretty decent when you're not in VATS. The one problem, I don't know if it's my latency or my ping or maybe the, um, the Tesla rifle has a feature where it takes a second for the electrical damage to actually register on the target. That can be kind of annoying, but yeah, it's pretty good. dog piece of shit. Man, I hate the dog so much. Alright, that's it for this room. As you can see, the Tesla rifle is 
it's no joke. It's a fantastic weapon. Um, I think the main reason why people don't use this as much is there actually is a bit of a, there. It doesn't have a very long range. The electrical projectile doesn't go as far as say a bullet would. Um, so it really is kind of best for close range and stuff. But still, you can see the damage is pumping out. It's pretty crazy. And plus, you get that added effect of it, like, arcing to other enemies. You could arc a crit between three or four different people and just watch them get vaporized. It's so cool. outside of vats there because we got caught and it's still pretty decent when you're not in vats too um the it's pretty it's got a nice precision sight picture it's not hard to see with this site of course you can always run in third person i usually play in third person when i'm trying to do you know commando without that um but with vats this thing is just it, it's incredible i love it Yeah, you could just see. It's it's great. You saw me vaporize those three dudes. Oh shit, it broke. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Uh-oh, please help me. Oh no. Okay. And, um, yeah. Infusion cells are so easy to get. I mean, look, they drop a whole bunch and it takes maybe two to three shots to kill one. Let's see, one, two, two. It took two shots to kill that guy. He's dead. Two shots to kill him. And they drop, like... 5 to 3 to 2 to fucking 16. I mean, that's it's a little cray cray. And fusion cells, anyway, are pretty easy to come by. I, mean, I, I don't remember how easy they are to craft because most of the time I'm just grinding daily ops or expeditions and stuff to get ammo. And that's how I got most of the ammo for this thing. And they weigh, they, they weigh fuck all. Once you have batteries included, I mean, I'm walking around with, um, let's see, I'm walking around with 5,000 of these. The stack weight is 3. I mean, good lord. But anyway, that's... Well, there, it says I'm still in caution, but fuck that last guy. That's going to be it for West Tech. Let's go ahead and kill the Super Mutant, and then tie up this video with a nice little bow. Okie dokie. Now we're at the... We're going to go fight uh, Super Mutant Swan. We're going to go kill Swan, just to see the damage we can deal. Now, I don't think I'll be able to kill him in one Vat's turn. That's like old Fallout 2 speak. What am I saying? Um, I think all of my AP will be gone before I actually kill him, but... We'll see. Um, so yeah, let's just go. Let's do it. Never mind, I was wrong. Holy shit. Wow, this thing, man. If you're running Railway or Elder's Mark, you really gotta give this thing a try. It's pretty lethal and plus it looks fucking cool i mean it's got that little uh, plasma ball in the middle that you'd see as a kid you'd put your fingers on it and the you know the little electricity would follow your finger i don't know if anybody else remembers doing that um but yeah that's the quadruple ammo capacity critical damage action point cost tesla rifle fantastic for commando builds and other stuff and uh, yeah if you enjoyed watching like subscribe comment do all that stuff because it makes you feel good it makes you feel good it makes you really feel good it's easy to do it's click of a button um you don't have to if you don't want to and all that stuff but I would really appreciate it if you do. And leave in the comments below if there's other weapons you'd like to see me try. I might have them. Um, or if there's tips you have on like how to make these videos better. Because I'm sure you've seen other people make these same kind of content. Um, if there's anything you think I could do better. And I will pay attention to everything. I will listen. I read all the comments. And I respond to all of them. Um, so yeah. Um, thank you so much for watching. Quantessa Rifle. Bang, bang, bang. Boom, boom, boom. Alright, peace out. Pew, I shot you. Oh no. <laughs>